It's double time! They almost sent him to the Wendy bin when he missed his arm. Yeah, um, I told you that, right? No. You know about that? Okay. Oh, so yeah, so I was in the hospital, right? Oh. And I'm like, I'm in pain because my arm's hanging out. <laughs> they got me in this wheelchair because I'm like, <laughs> can you put me in the room yet? And so they're like asking me all these questions. I'm like, I try to like lighten the mood, right? So I say something real smart. I'm like, ah, just let me die. I lived a long life. And they're like, what? I'm like, oh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We got a whole bunch of pieces in. Uh, one of these bad boys with one of these green things and two of those. And along with a whole bunch of other components that were ordered off of eBay, only the best. A new map sensor, some oil feed line, a couple of gaskets where we only need one, a couple of these things. Now it is. So basically we're just trying to wrap this thing up. I thought this was worth noting. We just pulled the back housing off of the turbo. And Leon says, oh yeah. What'd you say, nitrous does this? Yeah, there's a lot of nitrous in that thing. Hmm, it'll yeah, be fine. Oh, dude. You... Ah. Yeah, you wanna grab me a different bag? How you let that thing whip around. It's always gonna get hit with it. I like all the shavings coming out of it. I don't know if that's coming out of this, or coming out of that, or coming out of that. Huh? Don't show the people. Some slight modifications may be required for your specific use. <laughs> well, no, because it I don't know why it's so small. It's weird. It's a small frame turbo. It should have fit, but whatever. It's cool. We got a hand. Jeez. It's like putting it's a It's all screwed up. I mean, it'll be all right. Let's jam that puppy home and call it a day. That's a chunky bowl for one diagonally. Diagonally? Diagonally! We just watched that the other day. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. Perfect! What's your name? That's the next one. Because we just watched The Prisoner of Azkaban. He dies. Thanks, Leon, for Listen, if you, Thanks for lending If you haven't you know that? seen that movie, in the last, in the last years. ten years, yeah. I thought it just came out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about not running an intercooler. Perfect. Because intercoolers cost money. Also, blow house. We're not <laughs> using that either. If you need that one, you can just blow a compressor wheel on the front of the turbo. Listen. <laughs> so now we have a 15 pound gate. Yeah, we do. We have a 15 pound spring for it. But so. you know what? Turbo noises with no blow up valves on amazing. Yeah. This this car is here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> exactly. I mean, this turbo was free, so we're okay. Ooh, the grinding's good. Oh, it's good. It's fine. So All we right. got this really ghetto. Don't don't look at it too closely. Yeah, look at that. It's on point that Oh my, don't you. No, need a little bit more. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Needs a little more? Yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> Jesus! Put in a vice again. That's that. how I got that. Health and safety. Fuck. You're gonna shit their pants. Dude. You see your arm? You almost lost your arm. With the <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one touch. It did touch. It did touch. <laughs> I think it's tight. Go. Cool. I mean, this is not the best way to do that, but this. As long as you got clamping bolts on it. It's here. clamped. It'll be fun. Better than if it didn't have There's bolts. There's a hole, so. Right. What more could you want? We tighten down both sides of the turbo bolts, all well, the ones that we could get to and that weren't already snapped off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we put a little bit of oil inside the top of the turbo to lube it, and we're going to fire it up. Okay, some bits came out of it. Some like knots? N no. Huh? Some chunks. Oh, yeah? Some stuff out of the exhaust? <laughs> If you call the exhaust the part that's going to go into the intake, sure. <laughs> so, it's a couple weeks later. Uh, got to installing the new map sensor. This is a three bar map sensor, and we're getting our well vacuum source off of the fuel pressure regulator. We don't need that. 
I'm going to leave the stock one plugged in the back. That way we don't have any kind of vacuum or boost leaks. And as you can see, I ordered a new coupler here so that once we cut off uh, this section, this elbow from the turbo, uh, we'll be able to come out here, just do a 90 and then straight into here. We're not running an intercooler currently because there's no reason it doesn't need to make any more power. It'll probably be a little bit safer, but with what's going to be happening with this car after it runs, there's no point in doing that now. The next couple things we got to work on are part of this box. Now, obviously, since we've got the turbo on there, we need to plumb up the oil lines. Now, there's no feed or return, and in order to do those, we're going to be following what Leon's done in a previous episode on his show. I'm going to link that up in the uh, right-hand corner here how to use the oil pan to feed up into the turbo. And then I'm also going to need to get this front cover off, buried in the bowels of the front of the motor, so that we can tap that for the oil return line. So basically pull everything off that we've already done. After taking the belt off, remove the alternator wiring harness. And of course the plug in the back also going to be removing the large ground that's up top and then the bracket for the other accessories underneath of it. Looks like another 10 millimeter and then maybe a 12. There's also another large ground right here underneath the alternator. The only thing left holding me from removing the whole bracket assembly was these three bolts right here. Next up should be the water pump removal, which means we're going to have to drain the whole system. Before taking off the water pump, there are three bolts, uh, 10 millimeter on each side six in total. I'm going to go ahead and pull off the lower radiator hose, uh, the furthest down position I can find for draining it. It's just water in here. We never put coolant in it because we live in Florida, so there's no point. So I'm going to pull that off, drain it all out, and then we should be able to take the water pump off. To give myself enough room as possible, and also because I have to, we're removing the upper radiator hose. Uh, so it's just this clamp down here. I already took this one off at the top of the fill neck. So, just so we don't have anything in our way once we're trying to get to the front cover. With the water pump removed, um, you now have access to the cover plate. We're also going to have to remove the harmonic balancer, uh, which I'll need a special puller for that. I believe we're getting one. I'm also going to have to remove the whole exhaust hot side system because there's no way I'm going to get a wheel puller on in the right orientation. I remember Leon putting one of these things on before and it was an absolute bear. So as much as it sucks, I'm just going to undo the V-band clamps and pull the whole exhaust system off. As much as this pains me, I'm going to have to remove the trans cooler, oh well, uh, and then take out the whole radiator, which is just these two self-tappers uh, barely holding on this radiator. It's fine. So once we get those out, uh, we should be able to get total access to the front cover. I'm honestly pretty impressed with how long it took to do this. <laughs> I actually thought it would have taken me a lot longer, but it's only been like 15 minutes in total time. So up next, uh, as long as there's still daylight, I'm going to run to the store real quick and get a bunch of brake cleaner. Um, this is kind of what I should have done like a season ago, was clean off this. And it makes... Any kind of troubleshooting always a pain in the butt because, you know, you reach down here and your hands get all greasy and you're like, ugh, I hate when my hands are greasy. You know what I mean. So we're going to run to the store, get some brake cleaner, and see how this front cover will come up. At least now we got a whole bunch of access room to get to that harmonic balancer. Alright, so we're going to be using Walmart's finest under $2 a can brake cleaner and it's gonna have to be a bloody miracle to save this thing. So that's after just one can. That's a good thing about four of them. But I also bought this heavy bristle brush. So we're gonna try this a little bit and then hit it with the second can. But I mean, for not actually doing any work, that was pretty good. So there she is. Used a total of three cans. So I got one left because I'm sure we're gonna need it to prep the surface before welding the fitting on. Also, I don't know where the fitting's supposed to go. So, Let's check back in when we know what to do.